hello friends in this video i'm going to talk about my new design this design is called as wild track v4 mf umwb v4 mf is the old uh, series name and uh, umwb means um is uh, usb micro support as you can see here we have added a micro usb charging support for this instead of the wireless charging and wb is just the mcu name we are using the stm32 wb mcu for this now let us talk about why we designed it some of our customers uh, started to ask well track p4mf devices they were interested in it and uh, uh, but uh, most of them were asking for uh, usb charging instead of the wireless charging because uh, wireless chargers are not available everywhere and they have to buy extra chargers and charging pads for that uh, but micro usb charging devices are available almost everywhere now and they're cheap too and uh, wireless charging pads on the other hand cost more around 800 to 900 rupees so we decided to make this board with the wireless charging support and there was also a requirement because we made 4g devices our uh, earlier 2g devices the customers who were using the 2g devices had a microphone support because the sim 800 c based modules had analog uh, input option uh, means if you connect a mic you can call to it and uh, you can listen to what's happening around the device at that, uh, around the device using the microphone but the latest 4g devices like the sim 7600 or a7670 series whatever was designed earlier than this one had uh, only pcm audio codec option uh, because of that we left out the audio option on this so we designed this device uh, keeping in mind that we might need some analog audio interface as well so this device is based on the A7672S series LTE module. This module is specifically designed for Indian market. And uh, this one is uh, cheaper compared to the SIM7600 series. So this one uh, uh, is uh, the same as the A7670C uh, or uh, A7670 series, uh, except that it has the analog mic option and it also has a GNSS support. So it has inbuilt GNSS on it. So you can, if you connect an antenna here, you can directly use the internal GNSS of the A7670S. This module is supposed to be cheap and especially made for the Indian market. But now I'm getting it for about 800 rupees uh, from campus components. The other important things which you see here are the are almost same as what it was earlier before. It's the STM32 WB MCU uses the onboard PCB antenna and uh, there is an uh, FFC connector provided here which is a 10 pin 0.5 mm pitch connector it is used for uh, programming the device uh, using the FFC cable let me show it to you so using this adapter you can connect this cable and uh, use the ST-Link uh, V2 or ST-Link V3 to flash the MC here uh, the device also supports uh, OTA because it has Bluetooth on it. You can use the ST or our Beltrack V4 setup app to load a new firmware onto the device using Bluetooth. The Bluetooth is available for initial 120 seconds of the startup. After that, it, the Bluetooth uh, becomes undiscoverable. We are doing this uh, uh, to save power. And uh, the other major important things are uh, GNSS module which is the C868K3 AL series module uh, it's uh, used because of its thin form factor along with the antenna and uh, micro USB connector and a nano sim connector and here we have a level translator for the A7670S uh, because it uses 1.8 volt IO levels and the MCU is running at 3.3 volts so we are using a level translator TXS004 for that and we have an 1 megabit EEPROM here which is used for uh, storing the configuration data and uh, for any history uh, history saving and forwarding mechanism which is needed in some cases but we usually don't enable it we only use it for configuration by default you can also see the 1 megabit EEPROM here uh, the M24 M01 EEPROM from ST it is used for uh, uh, storing the configuration parameters and is uh, reducing the I-score C port of STM32WB. The M24 M01 uh, stores the configuration parameters like the ping interval or APN or the host URL and the MQTT ports etc. You can configure all these parameters using the Valtrack V4 setup app which is uh, recently published on the Play Store. Uh, I think it's last week we published it. 
Uh, next you see the MMA8652 accelerometer. It is used for movement detection and power saving. So if there is no movement detected, then the, the tracker enters into low power mode and turns off the GSM and GPS in case if you are using the motion triggered firmware. There are other firmware options wherein uh, the motion sensor can be completely ignored and it can always stay on. And uh, the next thing you see here, you also see some uh, small circuit added here. This is just for the uh, microphone biasing and filtering which is recommended by the A7672S datasheet. And uh, this is the charger chip. This is the TP4056 charger chip which is quite famous. Almost everyone knows about it. And there are two power MOSFETs added here for controlling the power to the GNSS and the GSM module. So there are again three RGB LEDs provided for the battery indication, the network indication and the GNSS indication. So the battery will be green uh, when the battery is full or red uh, when the battery is low. And uh, blue is used for indicating that the battery is in middle range. And the second LED, the network LED indicates red when the resist network is not registered and uh, green will come on when the network is registered. And the last LED is only indicates red and green. We have not enabled the blue LED on the last LED because there was a shortage of IO pins and we removed the connection to the blue LED. So only red and green are available which are sufficient for indicating the whether the GPS uh, fix is available or it's not available. So if it's red then the, it's still for searching for the GPS signal and if it's green then it has got the GPS signal. And uh, I also added a support for an SMD microphone here uh, which is a CUI. Uh, made microphone but unfortunately when I was testing this pole the chip part went out of stock so I didn't order this and uh, and uh, thankfully I added support for SMD pins where I can directly solder the mics. This was the earlier plan this was just for testing I just experiment whenever there is space available so that we can use it in the future designs. On the other side we have two buttons it's one for us. Maybe for a SOS option, like if you press it, it can send an SMS or send an alert to the server. If there is an emergency, something like that. And another one you can use it for just for turning on the LED when it's in low power mode or some power on press and hold and it top on power off like that. Right now we don't use it for anything. We just use it. We just left it dummy for now. So if someone requests for some feature, we enable that. And here, uh, this is the GNSS antenna and it's matching circuitry. And this is the GSM antenna, works well for 4G and 2G networks. This model also has 2G fallback, so if there is no 4G network available, it can switch back to 2G, like in the Airtel networks. Airtel supports 4G and 2G in India, and it can switch back to 2G whenever there is no 4G available. And it will also support SIM cards like a BSNL, which only support 2G network. And the battery is connected using the GST connector. Uh, it is directly soldered using through hole pins. This connector can be directly soldered here uh, if you want to make it more robust but we prefer to keep it outside so that we can put the battery away. And uh, this module is uh, footprint compatible with the uh, SIM7070 or SIM7000 modules except that it has some extra two pins here on the edges. Here there are extra three pins. Here the, on this side there are three pins. So SIM7070 is only until the middle part but it will directly fit, fit down to that footprint but uh, it will uh, extend a little bit. Uh, it has some extra pins. So here is the SIM7070 module. It has lesser pins but you can see the space at the edges. The A7672S uh, occupies the whole space available with extra pins and the SIM7070 has some space available. So if you want to put 7070 on this board it will work fine because they are all footprint compatible except that you won't be able to use the analog mic and the GNSS here. Uh, the SIM7070 GNSS pin is somewhere here on the other side which we are not using. And uh, let us look at the board how it turns on. Turn on the device. Initially the red, blue and green LEDs turn on. Indicating that the LEDs are fine. Now the green LED has turned on indicating that the battery is full above 4 volts. The second LED is indicates the network LED. 
unfortunately I didn't put the SIM card so let's put the SIM card and try again So within about uh, 20 to 30 seconds, the network LED will turn on indicating that it has registered to the network. See so now the network is registered. It can uh, now it can transmit the data. So after some about. 35 40 seconds it start transmitting the location information to the server whenever there is no movement detected it will uh, uh, turn off the gsm gps and the leds now if i just leave the device on without any movement the, all the leds will turn off and the gsm gps will switch off to save power and uh, after this the when, whenever there is movement detected the module restarts uh, it automatically goes into reboot and uh, reinitialize everything and starts transmitting again now I won't get the GPS signal here because I'm indoors. That's all for now. Uh, just wanted to show this device. Uh, I will be putting this on the web store for sale soon once uh, I test everything perfectly. Uh, one more thing to mention here is the A7672S also has uh, inbuilt uh, Bluetooth 5 support. So you can put all the BLE characteristics, everything and uh, mm use the latest android libraries to make uh, cool apps and it also has a wi-fi scan option so it will give you the list of wi-fi mac addresses so if you want to do some localization when the gps signal is not available you can fetch the lo surrounding mac addresses and uh, send it to your server for further anal analysis for localization using wi-fi that's all for now thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe